Hi, welcome to Introduction to Italian. My name is Alicia, and I'm joined by... Hi everyone, I'm Marika. In this lesson, you'll learn the basics of Italian writing. Both English and Italian use the Latin alphabet. Unlike English, however, Italian only uses a select number of letters. The Italian alphabet has 21 letters. Five of them are vowels and 16 are consonants. Compared to English's 26, you have five fewer letters to worry about. Missing are the letters J, K, W, X, and Y. They're all considered to be foreign letters in Italian and are only used for words borrowed from other languages. The most common examples are jeans, password, relax, yoga, and extra. An accent is a marker that is used to indicate some additional quality. That being said, accents aren't as intimidating as they look. They actually help you more than anything. There are two types of accents used in Italian. The grave accent, which looks like a line falling from left to right, and the acute accent, which looks like a line rising from left to right. The grave accent can only appear over vowels. Any vowel that appears at the end of a word can have a grave accent. Città, caffè, lunedì, falò, giù. The grave accent, then, actually takes away the ambiguity from where to place the stress. It's essentially telling you to stress this vowel. So, whenever you see the grave accent in Italian, just stress that syllable. If the vowel at the end is an E and it has the grave accent on top, it's indicating that we should pronounce it as an open E. And of course, we must stress the syllable. Te, caffè, e. The other accent is the acute accent, and it's used to indicate that we should pronounce it as a closed E. Perché? Finché. The acute accent can only appear over the vowel E, and only when it's at the end of a word. Vowels that are not at the end of a word are rarely marked with an accent outside of dictionaries. When this happens, however, it's used to help the reader distinguish between two words which would otherwise appear the same. Ancora, ancora. Principi, principi. Now you know the function of accents in Italian. Another important element to Italian writing is learning when to use capital letters, as they differ from English quite a bit. Generally, words in Italian are uncapitalized nearly as much as English. For example, days, months, and languages are capitalized in English, but not in Italian. So we simply write lunedì, martedì, aprile, maggio, inglese, italiano. Capital letters are only generally used at the beginning of a sentence or with proper nouns. A proper noun can be the name of a person, like Rita, but also the name of a place, like Venezia or Montebianco. Okay, let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what we've learned. In this lesson, you learned that the standard Italian alphabet consists of 21 letters. You also learned that the grave accent can appear over any vowel at the end of a word and is used to indicate that the syllable must be stressed. When the grave accent appears on the letter E, you must use an open pronunciation. When the acute accent is used, it'll only appear over the letter E, indicating that you must use a closed pronunciation. Finally, Italian only uses capitalization at the beginning of a sentence and with proper nouns. In the next lesson, you'll be entering Italian boot camp, where you'll learn useful beginner phrases to get you speaking Italian right away. See you in the next lesson. Bye! Bye!